We're going to do a session on creating high-end fashion designs in Corel Draw, working with brushes, the Fashion Factory, and we'll do some work with Simple Steps also. Simple Steps, well, we've marked it as a color separation program. Really is a utility for Corel Draw related to color management and things like that. And I use it for so many things. For example, when I'm working with brushes, if I want to change colors and brushes, a lot of my brushes have you know four, five, six hundred objects in them. I need to change color in that brush, it's going to take me an hour to do it. If I've got 30 of those brushes in a design, it's going to take me a really long time to change colors, and I can simply change colors in my brushes very easily working with simple steps. Take a look at a couple of different things here. First, to start out, I want to take a look at some MMA designs. Now, we're seeing these designs being very popular, we're seeing them in Walmart and all the retail stores. Depending on the brand and the mark, people are paying anywhere from $30 to $80 to $100 or more. For this apparel and it's very detailed in nature and it can look very hand-drawn and very very hand-drawn and difficult to set up and we had a lot of clients asking you know how do we do this look and etc and it's just gone from one level to the next over the last few years as we've been watching graphic design evolve take a look at this throwdown colossus t-shirt here and just see an amazing design and really what we were dealing with or at least what i was dealing with was, you know, how do I assemble these designs within the budget constraints we have in the small apparel shops? And looking at it, I really came to the conclusion after basically a year of thinking about it that the best way to approach this was with uh, some brushes. And now we have a brush pack on the site with over 400 brushes, really set up to enable you to create designs like this from scratch. Also set up so you can take your standard designs, the clip art that you've already got, the designs you've already purchased from other companies, go in and add some of this look to those designs easily and effectively. Now, upselling with these designs is very effective. There's a testimonial on the site where I interviewed Brian Skaggs of Skaggs Designs. Using the Fashion Factory, our plugins and tools, he's grown his business from $250,000 a year, somewhere between half a million and three quarters of a million dollars. In one year, that's a one to 200% growth in his revenue. Now, the fact is if you're not doing upselling, in your business, you're leaving money on the table because we're hearing from shops all over the world that are working with Corel Draw, using our products, doing the upselling, and managing their workflow with our productivity tools, and giving them the time to do the extra upselling, the extra work in the upselling, that they're doing much better. So the brush pack really is the next level. It's the next step in going from the fashion factory into creating these types of looks and adding these types of elements to your designs which are very popular at this time. And as I said, we're seeing them everywhere. Now, another thing I want to take a look at here is I'll be working with a Guinness mouse pen, eight by six inch tablet for home and office that I purchased from amazon.com. And you can pick this up for $42. For me, it works great. Now I know a lot of people prefer Wacom's, but I don't really want to spend three, $400 on a pen when I can get one that I'm happy with for a mere $42 on amazon.com. Temporarily, this is out of stock but you want to keep an eye on it, you can get one of these. There's also other pen sketches that you can buy. I believe there's a 9 by 12 that's available here, which is basically the same thing. You can pick that up for $131.54. Great buy, but if you look around for the um, Guinness pen sketches, here's a Guinness G Pen Ultra Slim. I think this is 6 by 8 also. And I'm sure this will work just fine at $79.68. And the customer, review, customer reviews are not bad at all down here on this particular pen. So anyway, this is the pen I'll be working with. Easier to work with than a mouse. Working with these brushes, you don't have to have a pen. I'll show you in the tutorial that you can actually work very effectively just going with your um, Bezier tool. And a lot of times I'll just start working with the Bezier tool as opposed to the pen, depending on what I'm doing, and then just applying the brushes. So... Go ahead and get started here and what I want to do is take a look at what I've got set up here is basically a MMA rebrand of the Advanced Artist logo and three skulls to get started with and I want to create a really off the wall t-shirt design so we'll go ahead and get started here. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working with these skulls that I've got here and start thinking about where I'm going to go with this design. I really have no idea what I'm doing. This is kind of like an open mic tutorial so we're liable to be here for a good hour because I'm going to take my time to explain everything, even try to give you some tips relating to balance and design as we go along in this tutorial.